We've seen troubling reports from other cities around the country where children experience a rare and sometimes deadly syndrome linked to COVID-19. Now the state of Wisconsin and Children's Hospital investigating at least seven suspected cases of that here. As Katie Crowther reports, all of those kids are under the age of five. The seven children affected, five of them have been discharged and are doing well. Two of them are still recovering in the hospital here, but are in good condition. The majority of cases right now seem to be coming out of the southeast Wisconsin area. Doctors are calling it multi-symptom inflammatory syndrome in children, or MISC. Symptoms are similar to rare Kawasaki disease, which can cause swelling of vital organs. Things to look out for? Persistent fever, abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, a rash, swelling of hands and feet, red eyes, lethargy, and an overall sick appearance. Parents should call their, their pediatrician if their child is experiencing any symptoms that may be consistent with MISC. Doctors are noticing a trend similar to COVID-19. It seems to be affecting uh, African Americans or people of uh, African descent a little bit more. Most kids who develop MISC either had coronavirus, even if they never had symptoms, or were exposed to someone who had the virus and developed COVID antibodies. This is likely not infectious, uh, so much as this is a post-infectious complication. A team of doctors here at Children's Wisconsin has been assigned to study and treat this syndrome, and they're sharing information with other doctors around the nation and world. Reporting from Children's Wisconsin, Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News.